<laughs> you can't catch me. Holy moly, that was fast. We're here to talk about the Flash, baby. Let's talk. Hey, what's good, comic fans? This is Confire Comics, and we're here to talk about The Flash Season 2, Episode 5. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a spoiler um, video. We're going to do a recap. We're going to talk spoilers. So let's jump right into this. I'm Confire Rich. And I'm Confire Nate, and Dr. Wells is back. And he's got mm -hmm. a dark, deep voice, and the man needs a lozenge, and he's throwing out insults like it's like it's nobody's business. Richie, what did you think? <laughs> Man, this is probably one of my favorite episodes, um, definitely of this season and maybe overall. I don't know why I really enjoyed this. So much was going on. Man, I was hooked from the start, right? You talked about having Dr. Wells back. Um, it opened up with him and uh, Jay Garrick, you know, obviously at odds. You know, go figure. They don't like each other. Um, apparently, Wells did create the Metahumans in Earth 2, and he's gotten rich off making all this tech to deal with him or talk about him. You know what's interesting? In Earth 2 and Earth 1, 90% of the people who got affected are all bad criminals. Mm. It's like, like there's not even an equal balance of good and bad. Like, they just like, man, if you got infected, you bad. Um, I find that very interesting. But, you know, it's, it's good for the story. You need that. It gives you a bunch of bad guys to beat up and, you know, one or two heroes to deal with. But I've just found that, that interesting. But, man, what do you think about Jay... Um, and Wells being at odds, which I guess doesn't surprise us, but um, I kind of no, thought I mean, they might be on the same team. It kind of, I mean, the way he, the character that he's portraying, Wells, I mean, nobody wants to be this guy's friend. I mean, just like Cisco said, this guy's a dick. And I mean, he's a dick from the yeah. beginning. I mean, everything he says, you know, it's pretty much like, I don't care what my other guy or my, uh, you know, other Dr. Wells did. You know, we need to do this now. You know, I mean, dude is literally just calling it how it is. And he is not, he doesn't care if he hurts your feelings. I mean, and mm -hmm. I mean, he's not very likable. I mean, you know, in reality, but for us, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I don't think he likes the fact, I, th I think he looks at Jay and doesn't, and he sees like a weak version, you know, like, like that's, that kind of seems a thing. Like he's just, he's getting on to Jay about being, you know, you're not. You're not being strong enough. You're not being strong enough, you know, so... He's not holding up his end. Like, you know, he's supposed to be the superhero, and he ain't handling business like he should be, right? Like, right. Zoom is apparently completely terrorized. It's not like in secret, like in Earth-1, where you had the reverse flash. You know, people didn't really know about metahumans. People still don't know about metahumans, really. Um, I guess some of them do, but it's not as prevalent as it is in Earth-2, right? And Zoom is no secret. He is completely terrorized that entire you know way of life over yeah, there no, it's so, so known that i mean he basically has like it. an app you know an app to spot a metahuman i mean come on now i mean that's that means everyone yeah. knows about it i mean they're th that's pretty yeah. interesting um which plays more into the story later but uh yeah that, it was really interesting i like dr wells no nonsense like man dr wells is legit no nonsense ain't taking no crap and i love it mm -hmm. i absolutely love it he's not you know, baby and anybody whatsoever. He's just, as a matter of fact, and it's, it's actually, I don't want to say refreshing because I, I don't necessarily feel like it's been lacking that, but it's a nice diversity from what we've had from the show so far where he's just kind of just coming in. Like this needs to be said, this needs to be done. Don't argue with me. I'm still a genius. Yeah. And, um, I, I like it. The Cisco man, him and Cisco going back and forth, dude, this episode cracked me up several times. Like, like laughing out loud, like I was like, dude, this is this is great. There was some great back and forth, I mean, um, was, especially between Doctor Wells right and at the Cisco. Beginning, man, it was like right at the beginning. You know, Cisco's like, hey, we've we've handled a few of these, and then I mean, what's the name's like? Yeah, how many? A few, you know. And he calls him Crisco. Man, when he called him Crisco, <laughs> I fell out laughing. I mean, I literally had to pause the show because I was laughing so hard. Because I mean, he just it, it's just it was funny, yeah. man. It just it caught it just these small little. Like little bombs of humor dropped in here, and it was just, it was so well placed that it literally made me just fall out laughing. Man, it was perfect. Like, like none, none of the humor was like corny or nothing. Like, it was perfectly, you know, good comedic timing. Like, it was right on point, and I thought it was awesome. Joe, yo, they didn't even have Joe in this episode, but one time, and it was when he walked in and just got bucked. 
I mean, Joe come in, didn't even hesitate. Like, you saw Joe, and then you saw a gun. Pop, 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 pop. I was like, dang. And then, you know, Barry did his thing, slamming bullets. And then Joe even says, how are you still alive, Dr. Wells? Because you missed. <laughs> I was cracking up at that. Yeah. Like, Wells, ain't he ain't scared, right? Like, he's not scared. He's just whatever, right? And uh, I'm, I like that. You know, he he's fighting. Now, with Cisco. You know, in his lines, we had that, you know, the scene where he's talking to that chick. So Cisco's got him a got him a girlfriend. She ended up they they talked to her a lot in this, you know, like it was more than just this chick he was talking to. Is she prevalent? Is she somebody special, somebody we should be keeping an eye on? Well, the when she mentioned her name and she said it was uh, I think it was Kendra Saunders. Um, that's going to be hot girl. Okay, that's going to be Hot Girl that we're going to see in the uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow. Um, they're probably okay. going to introduce her in this, um, just like they're doing between Arrow and Flash. You know, you get you introduce a character a little bit, um, get them into the story, but without spending a whole episode focused on them. Um, that's what that's what this is going to be. Um, so I thought that when I, when I saw her at first, she looked familiar, because I think I'd seen a, a picture or two um, of her before. But it didn't register until the end when she said the name, and the name clicked. And I was like, oh, okay. Now I know who she is. All right. Got you. I'm sure it was probably a big reveal when they when they did it for the comic book fans, people who realize that. For the non-comic book readers, people who don't know, that's Hot Girl. So we're going to be seeing her later um, and more often. Now, I wasn't sure. She's not a meta, I don't guess. But when, when he had that interaction with her right after, you know, normally Cisco taps into his powers when he touches something from, from a meta. And I didn't know, that's why I thought she might be important. So it turns out she is, but she's not a meta. Anyway, Cisco's becoming more one with his powers. Like he's actually learning how to use his powers a little bit more and making sense of it, right? Instead of before, it was just like something weird just happened. Now it's like, yo, somebody's here, they're at the bank. You need to go take care of it. Yeah, and I mean, he basically, I mean, back to like the whole app or watch. I mean, Wells figures it out real quick. I mean, dude's smart. He figures out what to deal with Cisco. Mm-hmm. And then he outs him. He basically outs him in front of all of his friends. You know, like, oh, well, yeah. we ain't got time. We ain't got time for feelings. He's a meta. Yeah. He's got powers. Use them. You know? And we just need laid him. it out there for him. And I mean, he, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they did that because they've been dragging this thing along for like three or four episodes. And I yeah, was they like, let it go. how long are they going to drag along that he has these powers? And Wells is like, not anymore. Bam, dropped it. You know, and it was done. Yeah. Old Wells, old Wells, even though he was evil Wells, he was like, you know, trying to like, look, you'll thank me for these powers, you know, just kind of push him along. Wells was like, bing, 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 bing. Look, guys, he's a meta. He's got powers. We need to use them. Here, I know how to do it. Touch his helmet. And that scene was funny too, right? Like, like Cisco touches the helmet. He's like, hm. and like it's silent. And he keeps yeah. like, like touching it, making it like I was, he's it was like, funny. but. Again. Try again. He's like, Man, you're not Wells, doing it right. Bam! It's like, <laughs> it was Wells great. is like the Bobby Knight of the Flash team now. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, it was a basketball coach, college basketball coach, throwing chairs across, like, again, a no-nonsense dude up in your face, um, going back and forth with people. And that's how Wells is. Wells just took that helmet and just shoves it in Cisco and, like, makes him tap into his power. So I thought that was cool, but we got that out of the way. So now Cisco is vibe i don't like that name like that name actually made me kind of jealous nate you know you always kind of want this cool name and we might sit around thinking of names for ourselves or at least i have before and i was like vibe that's cool man. i think i think that's a cool name i didn't yeah, know I mean, it was vibe they, they, you they probably did because talk, I mean, you're a comic book reader they've dropped his name vibe like i feel these vibes i mean <clears> they've mentioned vibe every episode I mean, like the name yeah. vibe, you know, in some way, shape, or form. So it was just a right. matter of time. Um, whether or not he gets his own outfit, I don't know. I mean, if you want to look up and see what vibe looks like as a superhero, go ahead. Um, I'd rather him not. I'd rather him not get an outfit. Yeah, I, I'd rather him not get one either because um, even in the comics, it's a pretty crappy comic book character. Um, I like the way they've used it and the way they've used it. So. You know, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, keep I'm them, sure somebody out yeah. there is going to be like, "Man, Vibe's a great superhero." Okay, well, you and the other three people that think that can have a conversation <laughs> about it, because as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> Vibe is a silly superhero. But you know what? They're doing it in a good way in this show. Put it to you like that. Oh, I man, like he, the way they've done it. I perfect. like the character. I like they play it. 
He's vibe. Don't give him a costume, please don't. Just, just yeah, give I don't. Him how he is. I like Let him the way the way he is now. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. There was a, there was that cool scene with uh, with Barry and Patty when they had their date. Um, he he mentioned something to her. She says something about she has a reputation, and then Cisco's goes back there and he was just like, "Ha ha, that's awkward." And like, I just thought it was funny. Like everything was great about it. Um, speaking of Patty. Man, what's up? Where are these chicks at, man? Where were these chicks at when I was in school that didn't play no games? They liked you. They showed it. There was no games to play. I thought that was likable, you know, where he was just, hey, you want to go on a date? And she's like, yeah, sure, let's make this happen, right? Like, where were these women at, Nate? No nonsense. Patty ain't playing around. She wants her some Barry Allen. Yeah, that's not what we grew up with. We grew up with uh, a whole lot of crap. But uh, needless to say, <laughs> Barry's got it a lot better. And, uh, you know, I love that whole interaction. You know, he's acting, he's, he's got the glasses on. You know, what's the name's trying to tell him what to do. Um, the back yeah. and forth between them and that third party of Cisco, that was fantastic. And then I it liked was good. It there the was so much in like, this episode. I loved that at the end where she's like, you know, you're blind, aren't you? You know, and it was just like. Well, we all knew it, but it was just funny how she just played along, and then she's like, "Yeah, I'm I'm a police officer," you know, like. And I'm glad you're not gonna pull this off. You know, this isn't one of those like silly, uh, you know, things that you can get by with on, you know. And I love I like that. And then I like yeah. how I, just their interaction they they interact really well. Um, and then things get crazy at the end, you know, where they have to leave. But all in all, for Barry, it was a good date. It was a real, it's really hard yeah. for Barry to get a date and have actually the time to do the date as far as the show's concerned. So I think it worked out good for him. Yeah, I was glad they did that because, you know, it was obvious that he couldn't see and I was glad that she wasn't, like, stupid, the fact that she didn't pick up on it. So that was cool they did that. Now, talking about Dr. Light, she's going around, she's trying to kill her doppel, or, uh, doppelganger. And, you know, it reminded me of the movie The One with Jet Li. Don't know if you ever saw it or anybody yeah. out there else saw it. But he goes to these different worlds, and that I thought of that. It almost made me think, is that a thing? Like, if you kill your doppelganger, like, do you absorb some of their essence and get more powerful? No, it wasn't. That's not the. She wanted to kill her so she could take over who take she Take her was, place. So she could yeah. hide. Because she's scared yeah. of Zoom. And right. in the comics, the thing's funny about Dr. Light, there are two different doctors, Dr. Light. There's a Dr. Light, uh, Arthur, something, I can't remember his last name right now. He's a bad guy. Okay, he's been around in the comics for a while. Then there's a Dr. Light who's a female um, who's actually a good guy in the comics. This is kind of a blend of both because, I mean, she's she she's not meaning to hurt people. You know, she's kind of has like that kind of anti-hero Captain Cold kind of feel to her. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't know if they're going to... I really don't know where they're going to go. Like, if this was just a one-time thing, I don't know if she's going to... Um, or she might pop back up later. Or something. I don't know. She might pop back she, up later. She was kind of cool. She was kind of cool with her powers. Like I, I like, I liked her ability. So maybe we'll see her again. Maybe we want. Like you think maybe that, or maybe we won't. But you're thinking maybe they might have combined from the comic books a bad guy and a good guy and made just like an antihero. Yeah, I mean that that's that's kind that of would the be kind of neat because I haven't seen. Um, I mean, they really they really can pull up these characters. You know, like with last week. I mean, they had. I mean, they had King Shark. They literally only had him in a little moment of time when they threw King Shark out there. Um, I don't mm-hmm. know if that's because, you know, it's hard to have a giant, you know, CG shark man running around the whole show. Um, right. They threw it in there for a little bit. These characters are, the thing is, they're not just making up people. These are actually comic characters that they're bringing out. Comic bad guys, comic slash good guys, comic anti-heroes. Um so I don't know if she's gonna if this is her cameo. If she's not gonna have. I mean, obviously next week I think if you saw the preview, it looks like um, the the person on their Earth is gonna be dressing up as Doctor Light. So maybe there'll be more Doctor Light next week. I don't know, um, but it'll be okay. interesting to see. We'll we'll find out for sure. Well, <clears throat> now we get into why Wells is really here and why he's hunting down um, Zoom and. It's because Zoom has got his daughter, right? Like, we knew there was an alternative motive. I was actually taking notes thinking, you know, why is Wells really here? And then, you know, it answered it. His daughter's here, right? And that's another reason why he's probably so mad at Jay, because Jay couldn't stop Zoom when he could. And And now his daughter's captured, basically. Yeah, and I like... Now, you had this little interaction where Jay's like, I can't can't help you knowing you're going to get your powers probably taken and you might go to death. 
Um, Jay's kind of a negative Nancy in this. And yeah, he really by was. the end of this episode, I like Dr. Wells a lot more than I liked the other Flash. Like, the yeah, other Jay, Flash is kind of a sissy. He's scared. Yeah, Jay, Jay was, he really was. Like, I, I felt like this whole episode, I was like, man, you're kind of a downer, man. You're like, no, we can't do it, or no, it's too hard. I'm like, come on, man, suck it up. You know, and I liked how what's name's like, you know, Barry's better Flash than you'll ever be. You know, and just like, I mean, just yeah. called him out. I mean, just basically called yeah. him out, like right there in front of him, just like, hey, he's better than you in every way, you know? And uh, I don't know if the confidence that Wells has is is misplaced like he's really trying to push Barry up only because he's really worried about his daughter um or what but I I don't know I feel like he kind I of feel believes like I can't trust it. Wells and I honestly feel like I don't really trust Jay all that well I mean both of them <laughs> you I know feel like there's some type of ulterior motive here so I don't know yeah I had to ask the question how expendable after I found out his daughter was captured how expendable are the rest of the team to Wells Right? Is he willing to do anything, like even kill all these other people, sacrifice them, turn them over just to get his daughter? And I hope that's not the case. Like, we've had Wells where he was kind of a bad guy and flipped or whatever. And I want this Wells to be a good guy, right? Like, I want him to be hardcore like he is now, but to be part of the team. Because I like him, I don't want to keep him around, and I hope he doesn't, you know, flip to the bad side completely. Well, and, and then you got to think. I about hope. It. I hope they just doesn't. I hope they don't do that. Well, the thought too. I mean, I don't think this would be hard to really put together. But you figure, um, Zoom is sending people through to kill Barry. He's trying to send people through. He's sending people like they even said. You know, they sent uh, what's her name, and she used to be his ex girlfriend. And Wells was like, they're sending people through. You know that that recognize you. That will kind of slow you down to to basically um, to to throw you off your game. Why isn't Wells one of those people? Why can we not assume that Wells is one of those people too? That Zoom took his daughter and said, "Hey, I'm not giving you back until you go back and kill and kill Barry." I'm just saying it seems too obvious to think that that's the case. Um, that Wells. I feel like he would have already done it. Thing. I feel like he would have already done it. Like right. he probably I mean, already unless, had an opportunity to do he's it. He's got a bigger. I mean, maybe it's a longer, a longer. Yeah. Game. A longer. I hope that's not the I case, man. I hope he's just there to get his daughter back, and he finds kind of a. Uh, a second home with this team and then he can kind of go back between worlds and stuff and bring some of his tech over and that he assists the team more. Cause I like that. I'm, I'm not caring about Jay. He's being a punk, but we'll see how the rest of this plays out. Um, man, this one ran long. I really wanted to keep it short, but there was so much stuff that happened. Oh, and I got to add zoom is beastly, man. Zoom Sorry. I know we need to end this, but zoom is ba- like, dude is tight. He yeah, way better than reverse flash. <clears throat> when they showed him at the end, I was like, this dude, man, I, I'm excited. This is a good villain. They are doing an excellent job of building this guy up. They just sprinkling him in there ever so slightly. And um, the hype they got around this dude about how evil he is, is awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's the episode for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, get down in the conversation. And for our question, would you kill your other self, right? If there was an Earth 2 and you found your other self, Would you kill him? I don't think I could. But anyway, sub to the channel, guys. We're trying to reach 100. Until next time, we're out. See ya.